10, 25, 2020 daily chat. Amazon.com. Oh, yeah, we love Amazon. We always have. Ever since it came public back in the 90s, we traded it when it was what? $3.50? Yep, even sometimes got down to $1.60. But listen, everybody, here we go with the chart on the daily. Still have the daily sell signal that broke down here for three days, and then that was that three day, and we caught a bid on Friday. Let it be known, we're below the 10-day moving average. That's going to be at 32.78. Let it be known that the 50-day moving average, another break below it, as we are, will be short-term resistance. And it will. Now, out of all of them, out of all of them, this one here is going to rock your world on Thursday. Oh, yes, it is. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of different things going on we will pick Amazon off every quarter four quarters in a year everybody's expecting the same thing everybody's extremely bullish because Amazon delivers and delivers well what about this Facebook Google and GOOG and you have the Amazon here and you have the Microsoft here and you have all of them reporting earnings in the same week. It's only happened three other times in history. And with this weekend, the election, you retail option traders are going to really struggle. We know what to do with Amazon. We made a lot of money on Amazon on Friday. But Amazon has a certain way it trades going into this weekly earnings. And it can be brutal. There have been times I could drop this thing 100 points in a flash. In a flash. They can also, in some cases, we have had Amazon run up going into the earnings that we've sold into it. And then they uh, crash it. But nonetheless, the option market, the option pit that you people, retail option traders trade, they have re they wrote new algorithms because I spent all weekend coding new algorithms to go on our Panther trading app. Yeah, very intense, about eighteen hours of coding. Because I had to adjust everything that these uh uh rip off market makers do to the public in the pit and how they change and how they're gonna steal the call side and the put side out of Amazon. They're gonna do it on every single one of them. And they are. And we're going to pick them off. And we are. And it will be a great event this week. The biggest week of the calendar year. Oh, yeah. And you talk about manipulation. And you got the election going. And Amazon is so damn. We made lots of money when Amazon dropped like a rock. And it has. This is the daily chart and the resistance levels. Amazon earnings preview to all of our managers. We can see right up there where the top is. That's 33.84. But the problem with the weekly bar, and it did hit the 10 week, the 20 week is down here at 30.72. And I can tell you that 20 week moving average is not far from getting tested. And that would be a great test for this Amazon trade. And it would. When we look at Amazon on a monthly level, everyone, you can see the monthly. Uh, and it reflects just like the S&P and the NASDAQ 100. Because Amazon is tied to both. But really heavily tied to the NASDAQ 100 futures market. We're experts in futures. Want to learn how to trade futures? We'll teach you. Anyway, this is the monthly view of Amazon, my friends. And once again, when you get down to this previous month's low where we bought it, that was around, well, that, that low was where we bought it, 28.71. Yeah, 28.71 right here in the month of September. And you can see there isn't no buy wick on this thing. There is a sell wick on the weekly coming down. 
from there. And so Amazon and all of them are going to have price action volatility going into the report. And the market makers are going to set it up where they sell the retail options to you when you buy them. And then they drop like a rock. Why? Because the market maker, I am the market maker. When they drop like a rock on you, and they do every day. These call options on this thing can drop $30, $40, dollars every single day. And I can show it and prove it. Oh, yeah, come into the live trading room. This is going to be the big one. This is going to be bigger than all of them. And the volatility leading up to it is even going to be bigger. And it's going to throw and rock your world. And those guys in the option pit, if you got calls or puts, it don't matter. They already wrote their new algos. I busted them on it. And I'm a mathematical wizard. You can't beat me math-wise. And they're stealing premium moving forward. And they are. And they're selling nothing but retail put options and retail call options. They sell it to the public. When they drop, they make money. And that is going to be part of the volatility. And it is. So, once again, I've given everyone a warning. And Amazon will have some great ranges going into the report. As it always does and always has and always will. The thing is, do you know how to trade it? Well, that's the complicated part. It's very complicated when you're doing the options on this one, pal. And if you're not doing it right, you can lose all of your money. Yeah, this is not easy. If anybody tells you this is easy, they're a rock-solid lying, man. No, I make it look easy. I've been doing it for 35 years. It ought to be easier for me. I'm the market maker. I put my dues in. I know every little trick and book and cranny in the, in the corner and everything they do. But we do like the daily chart because we do. And But we know what kind of volatility could happen. Operating margins are going to be skyrocketing. They're on a hiring freeze right now. And not only that, their fulfillment centers are growing huge around this country, man. And they are. But that all costs money. And it's going to show up in the earnings. And I know it will, as it will. And when Basil goes into his development, that operating margin is going to be a lot higher than what people think. Then there's other issues with COVID and their employees. There's a lot of issues. Uh, Friday's low. We hit it right to the penny with 31.40. And the last print was 32.15. And we did a great big trade on this one on Friday. Oh, yeah, we did. That was on both sides of the market. We had the calls that they paid. And we also had the puts when Amazon wanted to come down. And it's going to get rocky. It's going to get bumpy. It's going to get treacherous. The volatility is going to make you throw up. That's what's coming with Amazon. And that's what's coming this week. And that's what's coming with all of them. I have given the warning. I have shown the daily chart. We know what we're doing with this trade. And we always make money on this trade. And we will never stop making money on this trade. And there's a certain way to trade volatility. And people can't handle volatility. Volatility makes money. Without it. How do you get rich? It's just that people can't handle it. Too bad. But you're going to get a lot of it. I'm not wrong. And you are in this one. This week. Start tomorrow morning. Believe me. And, you know, the volatility works both ways. And it does. And there's a mechanical process. And, you know, when they released a report on Amazon and spikes and then what happens after that a big drop perhaps yeah everybody's expecting the same outcome and usually you'll be too late because the event will already have happened and the prices have already moved and the profits have been taken and then you get people come in and chase it and those are the ones that really get killed in the earnings season. Once again, it's very detailed. 
I wish all of you innocent people the best of luck, as I always do and always have and always will. Because at the end of the day, the retail trader is what carries us on over all of these years. And we know. We know what it does. We know what the market does. We know what the volatility is going to do. And I'm giving you guys a warning. Yeah, you heard me. That's the end of it.